Welcome to the Mendota Ranch. Uh, happy Easter. Um, we had a sunrise service this morning, and this morning we had a foal born. So she had a little retained placenta, so I'm kind of walking over to check on her. And I thought y'all might like to kind of come along and, and see. So this mare here that, uh, that fold this morning, she's, this is Playboy's Ruby too. So she's like one of the very first horse we cloned. She's probably, uh, I think she's 16. She's had a lot of good folds, a lot of good folds. But she's really bad about uh, it, plus, uh, retained placenta, you know, so the placenta is a sack around the fold. And the reason why I believe is because when she was younger, she had a little injury, uterine injury on her left horn. She's got some scar tissue and it's a little, when you palpate her, it's a, it's a little tight and it doesn't seem to loosen that placenta up as much and we might have to go get it. But uh, so this, this Ruby over there in the corner is called, this is Clay, she's due any day now too. So we'll look at Clay and see how she looks. Anytime you're around a mare with a foal, you always need to be really careful there. Very protective. Clay's over here because Clay's kind of getting that motherly feeling. So she's she's getting close to foaling too, bagging up, not waxing yet. So waxing is where you look on the teats and they start waxing. She's all good. So you're probably wondering, now why would I foal them out here and, in this little paddock here and for me i can put them in stalls and i've got lots of stalls we can put them in but truthfully if the weather is nice i'd rather than fold outside in a you know in green grass instead of in a stall you need to take them out of their environment put them in a stall they get all nervous and jacked up and uh it's not good see look here we got see the retained placenta so she got a little retained placenta. We're probably gonna have to get her in. I'm gonna give her a little bit more time. Foal looks healthy though. He's just about, so he's a few hours old. See, she's showing her teeth to me. She's like, hey. Just need to be careful around these old mares. They, even though they're, she's a super sweet mare, when they've got a baby on the ground there, they're a little different animal. Uh, I think we'll get her in and let's do something with that placenta. Ruby's good. This is Clay. Clay, you look like you're about to have twins. That's little Mendota, so she's a week behind them. So little Mendota is out of the clone of Smart Little Lena and out of Ruby. So this will be her first foal, so we'll have to keep an eye on her for sure, for sure. So I'm gonna go start the sprinkler and I'll show you how sprinkler um, work. We gotta start watering alfalfa. It's, you know, it's springtime. We've had some rain. We need some more rain, um, but let's go do that. And we'll give Ruby just a little bit more time to kind of see if she'll get that placenta out. But knowing Ruby and I've known, I've folded her out, I don't know, 15 times, four, maybe not that many times, maybe 12 times. I fold her out like 12 times. I, I know. I bet we're going to pull up placenta. It'll be, it'll be something fun to watch. All right. Stand by. Knock back. Hey. Hey little brother, let's go. There you go. There you go. Clay, you get. Clay. Yeah, if we gotta take clay, that's fine. Come on, little guy. 
Clay, you're screwing, you're screwing shit up, Clay. Clay, good lord. There you go. Now bring that mare over here, Carlos. Now bring her over here and come around by, by me. Come around me. There. There we go. He's a good looking little boy, ain't he? Hey! Right. Go, go. You're fine. Clay, you stay here. If everything goes good, mm -hmm. we'll kick him back out. This, yeah, we'll put him back in there because they're, they're too pretty. I hate to stick him in a pen. Our little Easter baby. Oh, yeah? Our little Easter baby. This is this is Moses and Amos. Amos and Moses. That's my team of horses. They're perchins. So we're gonna get her in, get her in the stocks, and we'll work on that placenta. We'll go ahead and doctor that foals and able too. Keep going. You're good. Hey little guy. Hey. Hey, get over by you, mommy. And the problem is, if you don't get the placenta out, it can cause a lot. I mean, it can kill the mare eventually, get infected and kill the mare. But the worst thing that happens is if you leave a little bit of placenta behind, it'll dang sure cause founder. And we sure don't want our horse to be foundered. So we need to get this out. And the way you, the way you work, you kind of got to just work it out, pull on it real slow. Um, let's see how we get along here. I might need a little lube, Carlos. I don't know. So this is part of the placenta. I'm gonna start just kind of tugging on it. Sometimes you can tug on it just really easy, and it'll just come right out. Sometimes it it's pretty stout stuff, though. It takes. Give me, give me some lube. I think it's in the, under the sink in there. So the foal is over here on the other side of the mare. Put it, we put the foal right next to the mare so everybody's comfortable. I don't have the mare sedated or anything, but she's been through this routine a bunch, she knows. Essentially, I'm just in there vaginally. You know, she just had a foal, so she the cervix is wide, wide open. And I'm just slowly tugging on this. Just a gel pull. We dang sure don't want to rip it loose. Okay, in there. Relax. Probably having a little contraction there. Ah, there's a big old car of something. I'm working my hand in there, kind of working some of it loose. We have to sedate her, we can, but I don't. Know. She bite you? No, it's. it's, it's oh, a, hitting you with the head? Yeah, it's not in the bite. Yeah. Getting to the good stuff. It's important that we get it all out. It's like, say, this is one of the horns here. See how, see how it, it comes to a stop right there? That's one of the horns. That's part of the horn that folds in. So we gotta get that other side out too. So it's coming slowly. She's fine, she's fine. Okay. Just let her sit. Okay. She's fine. You, if you leave any of this behind, it turns into a, a bad deal. So we wanna make sure we get it all out. 
So normally my, my rule of thumb is, you know, three hours, give them three hours to spit it out. And if it's not coming out in three hours, then just go ahead. So it's been, it's been three or four hours since she's fold. And, and I, I know she's, she's the one, she always has trouble folding. I mean, getting rid of the placenta. It's not proper trouble folding, but getting rid of the placenta. So this is the part, the last part is the most critical part. You don't want to leave the tip of the horn in there. So this is the most critical, you want to just, this is time when it goes fast is when you need to go slow. You want to make sure you get it all out. There you go. There you go. Nice and easy here. There you go. You're fine, Ruby. Bob got it. See if we got it all now. So what I did was I just kind of I laid it all out so that you can see it's all there, all the way to the tip. Okay, so what I did is I just laid it all out. And when I lay it all out, I check, make sure it goes all the way to the tip here. It's got little tears in there, but it, it looks like it's all can all still there. And, it, and I make sure I got both horns all the way to the end, right? So that's so I feel good about that. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna give her a little iced tea. I said iced tea. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it up for you right quick. Hang on. Let me show you. So I'll make a little ice, what, what I call my iced tea. So this is just uh, saline here. This is Jenison. 10 cc's of Jenison for any kind of antibiotics, uh, any kind of infection. This is just like a iodine surgical scrub. what I call my, my iced tea. See, it looks like, looks like iced tea. Mary, you need to stand up a little bit, huh? There you go. We're almost done with it, I promise. Stand up just for a minute, we're almost done, I promise. Essentially, this is just going into her uterus, just to flush out any kind of contaminants in her uterus. She's wanting to lay down. She's wanting to get. Well, she's got some money. We're almost done here. Almost done, Mama. I promise. And then what I'll do is I'll give her some oxytocin, and that will uh, that'll flush it all out. Okay. All right. There we go. Down his tail. Okay, so now the oxytocin goes in the vein. We need the doctor to fold too. Okay. Like I taught you how, have the, the, the opening of the needle right there looking at you. Lay it on the mare on the horse, bend that needle, confuse those nerves, slide it in, full blood, full blood, go. Simple as that. Right. Okay, so now, 
Okay, so so what we, we always doctor the navel on these colts. Don't get me. It looks good on him, huh? So, so the navel is something we always doctor on these folds because it's, it's wide open to the gut system. So, a little surgical scrub. All right, let's go. Let's go home with them. I think we're good now. Come on, little buddy. Easy, easy with the head. There you go. All the mommy. Come on, guy. Come on, little guy. I'm not your mommy. Your mommy's up there. There you go. 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 Run away. Run away. Hey, what's on, Mom? There. I know. I know it's been a big day for you, buddy. There we go. Looks like he's nursed all right, doesn't it? Yeah, I can see now. So there you go. That's uh, how do you remove a retained placenta? It went, you know, it about that's about the way it normally goes. It's pretty good. The main thing is on the you know retained placenta, is just you get it off. Isn't that right, Moses? First fall of the year. Nice. Springtime around here. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're going the wrong way, buddy. Going the wrong way. Gonna get us all killed over here in the corner. So, looks like old Mendota's bagging up really good too, huh? So, if y'all remember, um, I know a bunch of y'all watched the video of me collecting the stud and breeding mares uh, about from about a year ago. That it's got like a million and something views. <laughs> So this is this is what we're collecting that stud everybody says why don't you just let him do it naturally this was the mare that was in the stocks and we're collecting the stud to breed that mare and uh the problem is is you know we, when we collect the stud we might have eight or nine or ten mares to breed that day so you can't naturally do it so that's why we collect them she's feeling a little belly ache now and i'm sure from from uh all that tugging on her so we'll we'll thank her watch her I didn't give her any pain meds or anything yet. I think she'll get over it. That oxytocin, so that, what, that oxytocin that I gave her, makes her uterus contract, you know, just really tighten down. Push whatever's left in there, blood or a fluid or anything, but then remember I'll put that IC in there and it'll, and it'll push it out too. We'll come back in a couple hours and check on her, but. All right, that's retained placenta removal. And an iced tea mixture to offset any kind of infection. Oxytocin to kick it all out. We doctored the navel on the on the fold. So now it's just to sit back and watch. And you know, I can put her in the stall, but she's get all jacked up. I'd rather put her back home so she'll just relax and just, you know, become a mother. Alright. Thanks for following. Thanks for subscribing.